Hey, it's Brad from CoachParry.com. Coming up on today's video, we're talking about chafed nipples. They're unpleasant to talk about. They're even more unpleasant to experience. And we're going to be digging deep into, firstly, what causes your nipples to chafe, but most importantly, what you can do to prevent your nipples from chafing while running. I'm also going to share a hack with you that I use all the time uh, that stops mine from chafing. So make sure you stick around for that. We're going to be joined by Lindsay Parry today on the video. And if you want to find out more about what we do, all you need to do is head over to CoachParry.com. That's where we we help athletes become fitter, faster, and stronger. Lindsay, chafed nipples, they are not cool if it happens. Uh, what, what are the causes of nipples getting chafed during a, during a run? Look, the, the, it's exactly as you just said, Brad. It's a chafing. So it's a rubbing between your vest and your nipple, or if, you know, in the case of females, they don't get nipple chafe as, as much as men do. If the bra is a little bit uh, loose fitting, then it'll it just means that there's too much friction or movement between the the nipple and the vest. Um, but it can actually get quite painful, and often you see people coming into the finish of a race, and you can just see the blood streaks running down their vest. So it can actually get bad enough that you are bleeding. Yeah, absolutely. I've I've had a few of those, and it's not pretty. Lindsay, how do you how do you prevent it? I think that's the big question. I mean, it, it happens, and prevention in this case is definitely better than cure because it's not fun to try and fix it halfway through a run. You want to know that it could possibly happen and prevent it. So, what 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 are some things you can do to prevent nipple chafe? So the first thing and easiest is to bang plasters onto your nipples and cover your nipples. You normally need to experiment with two or three different tasks before you find the right type for you. Um, I do find that certain plasters stick better on different types of skin. So really you, you just want plasters and you want a plaster that's going to stick well. So you'd probably apply the plaster before you put on any moisturizing cream or suntan lotion or anything else that you're going to put on so that you don't get that stuff on your hands and it doesn't affect the stickiness uh, and obviously if you're a very hairy male you probably want to shave the hair around that nipple before sticking those plasters on but you know elastoplast works quite well um, but yeah I mean I've used two or three different types of plasters in the past and we just want those to um, to stick and stay on throughout if it happens during um, the race so if you feel it coming on during the race you can apply vaseline if there's like first aid or something uh, on the side of the road vaseline will help um obviously if there is first aid they may have plasters which will, would be first prize but if there's nothing around one of the ways that you can stop your vest from actually physically chafing against your nipples is to wet your vest so when you get to the water points at each water point just spray water across your chest and then what happens is that your vest then sticks to you and it moves with your body because it's stuck on the body rather than causing that friction between the two and i've um yeah forgotten to to use plasters once or twice in the past and that has been the most effective way for me to stop it in the absence of being able to get something to put on there yeah, Lindsay, and, and you're so right about the, the trial and error side of things and, and finding plasters that work. I mean, this is something that I struggle with big time, and I've found something that works for me. And it's not just the type of plaster, in my experience, that, that I found. I needed to experiment with the size of the piece of plaster that I was using. So do you cover just the, 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 the sort of bit of your nipple that's, that's sticking out, or do you literally cover the whole thing? Uh, and I've just found that if I cut it, that the square is small enough just to cover my nipple, that it's not actually touching the skin on the outside, then I I'm good to go. Yeah, and, and again, for me, normally that would just be, is the plaster sticky enough? Um, and if you're going to do it that way, then what you really don't want is a plaster that's got a bit of mesh. Yeah, the Because then that mesh will also then rub against. So, I mean, that is, and, and it is literally the nip of the nipple that we are trying to protect. So, you are right, if you just have plaster around the areola, you are probably fine. Um, you just have to make sure that it's sticky enough and that the chafing of the shirt, what it sometimes does is catches the edge of the plaster and then slowly but surely it rubs it off. So, you know, in your case, that worked really well. 
Um, and so, yeah, you, you just need to keep trying with different sizes of plaster. Yeah, and, and once you've got it, you've got it. So it is not something that's uh, fun when it happens, but once you've figured it out, it's pretty much sorted. Lindsay, as always, great to catch up. Thanks for your time today. Cool. Cheers, Brad. Thanks for joining us on this video. Don't forget, if you don't want to miss any of these videos that we put out, hit the subscribe button over here. Uh, you can catch our latest video over here. And one of our most popular is over here. And also, if you want to shave 10 minutes off your PB, all you need to do is download our free strength training program. You can get that right here.